Hey everybody, here's a quick video on how to set up and run the lab that we're doing today. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to your Google Stream, look for assignment 3.3, click on that and open up this assignment window here with all the instructions. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna click on the two links at the bottom, the FET free online simulators and then your macromolecules diet and exercise lab. Once you do that, make sure you have your tabs right next to each other. So this way it's just a simple cl uh, click left or right to toggle between the screens, okay? If you have a bunch of tabs open, like I most of the time do, get rid of them so it's just easier for you to navigate and it's less crazy on your eyes. Once you open up your uh, the FET webpage and then your lab document, what I'd like for you to do is go back to the FET webpage, scroll down, find biology here in the bottom right hand corner and click on it. Once you click on it, you're going to get a list of simulators. The simulator that we are going to use is called eating and exercise. So make sure you click on that and then load it up. When you click on it, hit play and wait for it to load. Now that the simulator is loaded up, let's take a look at the attributes or the parts of it. Okay, here on the left hand side, you have your person that we're going to run through the trials. And these are your per personal attributes. So we have heart strength and heart strain. So how strong the heart is or how much stress you put on the heart. Then we have a summary of certain uh, characteristics and we have uh, pounds or weight of the individual and then body mass index. Here we can select the sex or gender of the person. So we're going to stick with female. And then this little drop down menu that a lot of you are going to miss, make sure you remember this, okay, has your different activity levels that we want to set for this individual. Okay, then after we get through that, as we scroll down the bottom, we have the age, height, weight, and body fat percentage. And they're all able to be controlled or changed by using the sliders back and forth. On the right hand side, this is where we're going to start doing our work. Here you have your food choices, and you can find out what the food is called by hovering over it and waiting for the name to pop up. And if you want to look for more, you can click on the buttons to scroll to the left or to the right rather, and then click on the buttons to scroll to the left. Down here you have your dinner plate. That's where you're going to drag the food when we set up our diet and exercise part. Okay, as we drag food on there, you'll notice that this bar on the right hand side starts to climb, and this is going to be the total carbs or total calories per day for that particular meal. So this number here is the number that we're going to be looking at. Okay, so this is the total calories that we're putting in from the meal. And here is the gauge or the scale that we're going to use to measure that as well, or based, that's what the calories are based off of. On the other side, we have the amount of calories burned. So the amount of calories that we're eating and putting into our bodies on the left, on the outside is the amount of calories burned and we're getting rid out of our body. So you want to pay attention to this number up here. Up in the, up, up the right-hand corner, you have your exercise menu. Okay, so on the exercise, they'll tell you the attributes, the time that you're doing, the type of exercise rather, the time you're doing the exercise and how many calories are being burned. And again, if you're scrolling through, then you have to just go to the right or go to the left and then look for the sport that you're looking for, the exercise you're looking for. Here's the exercise log that we're going to put our exercises in. Don't drag the hockey player in there because it's not in the directions. I'm just doing this to show you. If in fact you drag the wrong thing into the exercise log or the dinner plate, you can just drag it out of there and it'll disappear and be subtracted from the total. Underneath that, you have your graphs. And this is the data that we're going to see. In the graphs, you'll see a line graph based on the characteristics and the diet and the exercise we set up. And then the weight total over here. And over here on the bottom of the graph, or the or the bottom graph rather, you're going to see your intake calories, so calories eaten by the meal or eaten from the meal, and then the calories burned from the activities of the day. At the very bottom where it says start simulation, you have a play button, and you're going to play that. And we're going to be doing years, so you're going to be watching your years here. All right, and then when you're all ready to do another trial, you can hit reset all, and reset all will clear everything. You have to start all over. All right, so how do we go about this? All right, what numbers do we have to put in? Well, that's put that's given to us in our lab. So we're going to scroll down to our procedure, and we see that we have our personality traits or personal traits for the individual that we are testing for all four methods. Methods one, two, three, and four. With that being said, 
what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this. We have a female with moderate activity who's 15 years old, about 5 foot 3 in height, 110 pounds, and 20% BMI, or body mass index. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to put in the weight, the body mass index, and the heart health. Now, you might be wondering where the heart health came from because it wasn't in that list. To find the heart health, you're going to take a look at your simulator and take a look at the heart. Now there's three faces the heart's gonna make. It's gonna make a smiley face, it's gonna make a meh face like you see here, and it's gonna make a frowny face. So if you're not quite sure what face means what, here is your key. Heart health, good health is smiley, average is meh, and bad is sad, okay? And then above it, you have your method descriptions, the type of diets that there are. So with that being said, you should go in and fill this stuff in now and hit pause. Okay, now that you're done with that, I suggest for the remainder of the video, you do as I do. So whatever I do in this video, you should pause it and then do the same thing, repeat the steps that I do after you've paused it. So this way, as you watch it, you're setting up your lab and getting used to how this all works. So as I do it, then you do it, okay? So let's get started here. So we have to set up our personality traits or personal traits in the simulator. So I'm gonna do that. I got a female who's moderately active or moderate activity. She is 15 years of age. She's also five foot three. So you can change this by typing into the box or you can use the sliders. The height one is probably easier to use the sliders if you want, but you can type it in if you like to or prefer to. Then the weight is 110 and then our body fat is 20%, okay? With those metrics in, we see that our heart health is meh, so that's why it was meh. Now, or average, I should say. Now we to set up the meals. So to figure out how many calories we're going to put into a day, we are going to take a look at our diet or look at our lab and we see that we have a sample menu. When testing each method, input the information from the menu below. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test method one. So in testing method one, we are going to take a look at the menu for method one and it tells us we need about 2,000 calories high of high protein and fat foods, but low carbs. So this is a high fat and protein diet and low carb diet. I'm gonna add 30 minutes of jogging, okay? Now I have my food here, all the things I need to put onto that plate. At this point, if you have your phone and you can open this up on your phone, I would suggest you put this menu on your phone so you don't have to keep scrolling up and down every time you're putting in information. Okay, at least if you have it on your phone, you can look at it, go grab the stuff, and then record your data. So what we have here is this. I need to put in on my plate all four of these meals. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, so what I did was I added my meals onto my plate. So again, I looked at my menu. I saw that for breakfast, I needed two servings of honey ham, two eggs and strawberries. Lunch, I saw I needed a salad with two servings of chicken and a serving of bacon and a diet soda. Snack, I had two servings of mixed nuts. And then dinner, I had two servings of beef, corn and butter. I suggest when you put it onto your plate, notice how I put it into the groups of by the meals. So this way, if I need to go back and double check it, I don't have one big blob of food. I can simply say breakfast and check out breakfast. I can go to lunch and check out lunch and pull up, pull apart the items and so forth. So it's a little bit easier for you to double check it if you put it into groups here.
Now that I have my meal on my plate, also I noticed that it says 30 minutes of jogging in the menu. So I have to make sure I go get my um, exercise. So I'm going to go through my exercise log and I'm going to take a look for jogging. Now as I scroll through, I notice this looks like running, but if I take a look at it, it says uh, running moderate, and then this says running fast. That is not jogging. So if I keep going, I'm going to see I have a runner down here, and it says jogging. Now remember, I needed 30 minutes, so this guy is only worth 15 minutes. So as a result, I have to put two of them down because 15 plus 15 equals 30. Now that I have everything set up and ready to go, I'm not going to go hit play yet because I have to add in some information. I'm going to go back to my lab and then I'm going to enter my calories. So before I ever hit a simulation button on play, I got to put in my calories. So I'm going to take a look at my total calories for the meal and total calories for the exercise. So my total calories for the meal are 2024 and my total calories for the exercise are 1917. So I'm going to type in 2024 and 1917. And as you can see, method one has high protein and fat with low carbs. So if I take a look at my meal, I have a ton of protein, I have a ton of fat, I have very little carbs, and I have what's called a calorie surplus, which means I've eaten more calories that I'm going to burn off. So you have an extra amount of calories in your body from the meal. Once I finished putting in these numbers in the blue and the uh, orange boxes, at this point, I can run the simulation. So I'm going to move on down. And I'm going to hit play and let the simulation start. And I'm going to keep an eye down here for the years because I have to make sure and stop it at exactly 1.0. Now that the simulator hit 1.0, I pause it and now I'm going to gather my data. So if I take a look at my data here, I see that the, our student, our female student, is now at 117 pounds, at 23.1% body fat, and her heart is happy. So I'm going to go to my data table here, and I'm going to put that uh, information in. So 117 pounds was 23.1%. And then, since it was a happy heart, that means her health heart is good. Okay, that concludes trial one. Now that I'm done with this trial, I'm going to, again, go back, and now I have to reset everything. And when I reset all, that means everything here gets cleared out. Personal traits, diet and everything, I'm going to reset it, clear it out, hit yes. And now I have to put in the information for everything. So again, at this point, make sure you have female. Make sure you select moderate activity. Make sure you put in 10 years. Make sure you have her at five, three, five foot three. Make sure you have her at 110 pounds and 20% body fat. Okay, you're going to stack your plates and your exercise logs. Then you will record the calories for the plate and the exercise log. And then you are going to hit that play button at the bottom, run the simulation, stop it at one year, and then fill in the white boxes.